Today was going to be a good day, because we were going fishing. The fog made it seem like a bit of a dream. I don't know, maybe it was my friend's ruby red slippers. We were off to see the fishes. And I think Steve had the hots for my little Argo kayak. There were no flying monkeys to watch out for today. Just a bit of treacherous footing on the launch here. Ooh, that looks muddy. It is. Slippery. Nasty, smelly. Oh. We were all moving kind of slow today. New Year's Eve had been last night. All of us have dogs and we were up kind of late, trying to calm them down from all the fireworks. But it's that time of year. For celebrations and big meals, makes getting out of bed in the morning kind of difficult. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here for a second, <laughs> take a nap. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, that's. <laughs> yes, the pressure was off. We were able to wake up early. We were able to drive and navigate our way down to the water's edge. The only thing left was to shove off and enjoy a very peaceful morning paddling around on the water. Right. I had my grapefruit juice in its uh, cup holder and everything else had a home on my kayak. The experimental part of today had to do with Richie's kayak, which was still kind of in the prototype stage. Him and I had worked on getting a different seat on that kayak and we were both curious to see how tippy it might be. The Argo that I was in this day has a really nice seat, which makes it a comfortable boat to be out in all day. Richie's boat, this Sentinel here, normally comes with a very simple seat. Well, we eliminated that. I drilled out the rivets that held it in place. Here there's a hole, and there there's a hole for the side straps. And I added a piece of PVC here that I cut and notched and uh, took a little measuring and doing but we just stuck that on there with two screws I added a little strap back here and a strap there which came with a different seat and it's very similar to the one in the Argo this is one of the old rental boats seats and I chopped this part down to make it a little bit narrower there and there and in the back I just pulled the little cap out, cut it, and stuck the cap back in. This seat now fits right in there, kind of snaps into place. And then using the strap here, go through the center of the seat and tie it down just like you would a normal Pelican seat. I also made little cradles here out of starboard. There's two screws in them. They catch the seat as it goes down and are hopefully wide enough so that it can't slide back and forth. Now this basic kayak has an advanced seat. The difference was the height. You can see the sit inside. Your butt's going to be a lot lower than in the sit on top. And uh, we were trying to see if Richie was going to be able to enjoy himself all day, which didn't seem like it was much of a problem. The first place we fished was very shallow, and there was a lot of activity. It felt like a place where we might find a red drum. Rich and I were both bent on catching something to eat for dinner, and red drum are very delicious. And just like that, Rich was hooked up. It was as if we could almost hear them frying in the pan. So far, the first few minutes of the new year appear to be very promising. Wow. Redfish? What is it? Snagged a mullet. Yeah. <laughs> wow.
Well, look at the hook and line. <laughs> oh, <buddy. laughs> you want him gone? Yeah, bye. Get my hopes up. <laughs> yeah. And it's a mullet. <laughs> I've eaten mullet before and they're actually pretty tasty and it wasn't very long before I hooked up with a fish that is also kind of tasty first tug of the new year I don't know what it is got it trolling these fish are legal to catch and keep if they're within a certain size <laughs> and I haven't seen one of these in a long time this one seemed to be a little small My goodness. Spot's paying off. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. Be a person of this. Unless it was a redfish, Rich and I were both resolved to practice catch and release today. Unless, of course, there were reason to not release a fish, which I thought was going to be the case with this one. Yeah, jerk. Come on. Quit screwing around. This guy swallowed it pretty good. Oh, he swallowed it. That is not good for you, sir. Let's see if the hook comes out. Have I got from my bag of tricks? Yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay. There he is. Let's see if he lives. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Hopefully I didn't do too bad. That hook came out pretty good with these long nose pliers. And I wet my hands first before I handled them. He could live to see another day. Become somebody's personal best someday, who knows. All the points and the cuts were holding fish today. And just up ahead, there was another feature that also tends to hold fish quite often. Nice oyster bed. Sitting out there exposed. I can smell it. They tend to hold fish. Trout are the type of fish that like to thrash around like crazy when they're up next to the boat. Even though I don't use treble hooks that much anymore, there's always a concern about me not getting hooked. Fortunately, it wasn't that cold this morning, because every trout seemed like it wanted to throw a bunch of water at me with its tail. That's a good one. I sure do like getting me freaking soaking wet. This was one of the best fish that I caught today, and there were a lot of fish today. Mm. The bite and the fog both seemed to persist well past morning and into the afternoon. I tried to handle this fish nice and easy, and it was kind enough to not thrash around and allow me to take a picture with it. Today there were no redfish, and it was all catch and release. A nice way to start the year. Well, <laughs> this guy is going to get to live, fight another day. 
goes. Mm. <laughs> Something smells fishy. Finally, the fog started to lift and the sun started to peek out. It really had been a great day, but we had been out here a long time and it was probably time to start heading home. Especially after the trout bite stopped and these guys started showing up. That's an interesting fish. Haven't seen one of these for a while. Could you, would you please? Look at the colors on that. <laughs> this guy sounded like he was working a foot pump, even though he had no feet. <laughs> You're a funny fish. Unless he bites you, and then it's not very funny. Or is it a palm balloon fish or something? Well, the first day of the year turned out to be pretty awesome. The weather was nice, the fishing was great, and my friends, spectacular. And more and more, I got to love this little sit inside kayak that I have. Waking up early and getting out here was definitely worth it. Dragging my small kayak across the ground definitely makes the end of the day a lot easier. Steve was in a heavier kayak and he had managed to get a bunch of water in the hatch somewhere. <coughs> Richie's seat experiment on his kayak turned out pretty awesome too. He said despite sitting all day his back didn't hurt, which is good. There's more fishing to do in the future. Hopefully we'll be out there soon. Hopefully you will be too. Thanks for watching everybody. Here's to tight lines in 2023.